All right, everybody, in this one, what we're going to be doing is cloning a PCM for a 2012 Fiat 500. Um, the reason we're doing this is because I posted a few photos not that long ago about a PCM that I got or that I diagnosed. All right, and the light's not going to be perfect in here. All right, but the PCM is completely fried. Okay, so um, I already fixed the connectors onto the card. The last step was actually to take and... Uh, clone the PCM. I already have the original PCM cloned so I thought I'd go through show you guys the hookup and everything and uh, from there we'll install the, all the original EEPROM data and, and uh, microprocessing data onto this donor. First thing we have to do is take and hook everything up to the uh, the donor PCM and then from there read and write the data from this one. I'm gonna save it. Why? I have no idea because I'll only be able to use it for this vehicle but it's better to have uh, some original data regardless. Um, there might be some programmers or something other that I can actually use it for something. Me personally, I just take and I clone them, so not very much I can do. But I also wanted to show you guys a little setup that I thought of. Uh, so this is my BDM frame. And what I did was that I passed all my wires through the holes of my BDM frame in order to get everything to stand up straight if you want, like this. Okay make everything stand up straight instead of lying down this way or whichever which way I find it works out a lot uh, a lot better um, so we're gonna go ahead now and start this process so the first thing I'm gonna show you is why am I doing it like this and not just through a uh, a basic uh, JTAG uh, connection or B yeah through a basic JTAG connection um, there, reason is is because they actually call for it like this now I do have PCM tuner up over here uh, or ECU help which actually shows that you can if you have the dim sport you can actually do the boot uh, straight through this pin right here and also uh, we'll go back one just through basic connections onto the front um, so the K tag you have actually have to wire everything while on but don't forget this is the K tag clone, okay? This isn't the, the original K tag, so maybe the original K tag you can actually just do it like they're showing on screen here. But with the K tag clone, right now we have to go through and do it this way. All right. So what we're gonna do is take and wire everything up now, and from there uh, we're gonna start the cloning process. So I'll bring you guys over to the setup, and we'll go from there. All right. I don't know how well this is gonna catch either. That's actually not too bad. All right, so the area we have to solder to is this area right here. Okay, um, I'm just gonna go wire by wire the way that they want me to. Uh, before we do that though, there is one thing that I'm gonna do is actually hook up my my uh, JTAG wires to the uh, unit already. So because I have to take and twist this guy around and I would rather do that with this already connected. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna connect these and then from there, we're going to get started on everything else. Alright, so we have our connections in the front, so what I'm going to do right now is just plug in my power supply. Up over here, plug this into the back. 
Because without this, well, guess what? We're not getting much done. So, I have that hooked up to my power supply. Okay, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna come over to the computer. We're gonna press okay. And now we're gonna press read. So if we look at my power supply, you can tell that there is some amperage being drawn now. All right. So we'll come back over to the computer and then all of a sudden it's, it should start to say identifying ECU and then it should read it. And then from there, we should start to see it populate sectors. And then after all the sectors is gonna go for the EEPROM. And then after the EEPROM, we get to save the file. All right, so as we can see right here, reading backup, reading micro processor, all right? And then from there, uh, we're just gonna leave it go, okay? I'm at the 0.22 amps right now in order to start reading this. And we're at 1%. Now this is gonna take about 15 to 20 minutes to get done. After that, uh, we'll be able to take and save the file and also after we save the file we are gonna have to take and write the other EEPROM file to it so, All right, so I, let's go ahead and do this now we're gonna put a new folder we're gonna rename this folder yeah. rename uh, donor PCM fiat 500 all right, so now we're just gonna open it. We're gonna save. Oh. Toner original. We're gonna save that. Do you wanna save this file separately? Yes. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to redo this and then I'll bring you guys back when I go ahead and uh, start to write everything. Alright, so uh, everything is done now. So what I'm going to do now is just click OK. Everything is still connected, so we're going to press OK. And now what we're going to do is press write. Okay, now uh, what we're going to do is go back one. Uh, Fiat original separate. This is 2000 original file. So this is the one that I want. Okay, so I'm just going to press open. And now what it's going to do is going to identify the ECU again, and it's going to write all this information back to the ECU. So I'm going to let this go through, and then I'll bring everybody back when everything is done. All right, now everything is done. Uh, so I'm gonna set you guys back up onto the board. There we go, that looks better. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do obviously is that we're gonna take out power to the K-Tag. All right, uh, we're gonna close K-Tag onto the computer. We no longer need that. We will unhook K-Tag so that there's not even a five volt source going up to the system. From there, we have to take our soldering gun one more time. This time it's just going to be to take and remove stuff though. It's nothing more than that. Okay. Very simple. All right. Now, like I said, we're going to take and clean everything up. Now, in order to clean everything up, I highly suggest that you put a little bit more flux. Do we have to clean it up? No. My solders were still pretty nice. They weren't horrible, so... Well, I find that they weren't horrible. Somebody else might be cringing at the thought of my of my uh, soldering capabilities, but that's okay. Okay, now we're just going to use our soldering wick. We're going to touch, and we're going to just rub this guy along, picking up any solder. Okay. Just to make it look better. That's all. And that looks a little better. Alright. And 
that is that. So, that is cloning a PCM onto a 2012 Fiat 500. Uh, this model does not have AC, so uh, hopefully with the data that I put into this EEPROM or this MPC that it doesn't see the AC system anymore because it was looking for the AC last time and I was getting a code that was coming up. So hopefully with all this information onto it, it no longer looks for that. Uh, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. So this is the new one. The new one's gonna go back into its case. I still have the old one. I like keeping the old ones. Why? Uh, for spare parts, because you never know when something's gonna go bad. So we're gonna take him, flip it over like so. We're gonna place it back in. Uh, I'm gonna be cleaning all this up before I do put it back in the car, so don't worry too much about what you guys are seeing right here. I have to take and clean everything out and then wash it. Um, but this is just to make sure that there is no damage that happens onto this one. Okay. Uh, this way. Because then I still have to add some silicone to it. Uh, silicone that go on, goes on here has to be a non-conductive silicone in case anybody's wondering. Alright, so I haven't plugged in the computer yet. Um, the carnage that was on these connectors is, is pretty severe. Alright, look at that. I have no idea what happened. Um, there was one wire that was not on the other connectors. Uh, so I didn't put it back on. Um, I probably will later, but for right now, I didn't put it back on. So what we're going to do is hopefully this is mag magnetic, which it is. So now you guys can see everything. All right, so we'll bring this guy down. Um, From what I can tell, that wire is supposed to be brown and it looks purple to me, so uh, there's something wrong there. But I checked on the wiring diagram last night, but it wasn't like too precise on what was supposed to be there. All right, so from there, we have this little ground strap. We'll put this guy back on over here. All right, now I gotta get the bolts that hold that on, and uh, hopefully, this guy actually starts. So let's. Put this guy in, close that, close that. I'll grab the key real quick. Um, put a booster on this too. Let's get in here real quick. Put this on by hand. My hand can fit. I'll tighten it up. to throw in the old BCM also. Um, okay. So, this. We're good with that ground. Put this on. All right, so I'm gonna go throw the uh, BCM back in now, and I'll bring you guys back as soon as uh, that's in, and we'll start this guy up. All right, so BCM is now in. Let's turn the key on, see what happens. The mobilizer light is off, which is always a good sign. Oh, it's a manual, I keep forgetting that. Ooh, it's a rough, okay. There we go. Vehicle now starts. All right, so that's always good because this vehicle was not starting at all. So now there is a check engine on, but this, this car, this car, I got the story, the full story yesterday from the client. This car was bought at the auction for $2,000 because it did not start. The reason it didn't start, well, is, as you guys can see, there's a few reasons it didn't start. Um, PCM, connector, uh, the BCM is allowing it to start. So that's always good. So there's still a few other little things to check on this vehicle. But as of right now, that's all. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time.